Since launching in 2010, Xiaomi has made it their goal to deliver high-performance smartphones at a budget price. But within the past two to three years, they've taken a different approach, aiming at the flagship market as well. Now, in today's video, I want to take a moment with you guys and discuss why Xiaomi could potentially become the world's number one smartphone manufacturer within the next three to five years. Looking at Xiaomi's history, what I can say about the company is that innovation seems to be a big part of their core values. Xiaomi is not afraid to experiment and try new things with their smartphones. They've brought a lot of amazing new features to the smartphone world, which a lot of um, other manufacturers have copied. Xiaomi was the first company to bring a fully bezel bezel-less screen to a smartphone with their Mi Mix series. And the Mi Mix series is supposed to make a comeback this year in 2021. Now, Xiaomi has also innovated with other smartphone features, which has put them in a very comfortable position right now. But even though they are com in a comfortable position from my point of view, they still are pushing forward and innovating nonetheless and they seem to be a pretty consistent company. You can expect software update for at least two to three years when you purchase a Xiaomi phone, which is pretty good. Xiaomi has a very good partnership with Google and I hope to see this continue in the future. One thing I do notice about Xiaomi when it comes to software is that they're willing to try new things and release new features with their MIUI skin. But they also did partnership with Google with their Android One devices. Now these smartphones came out just before the Pixel was launched and they received um, day one software updates from Google. So when the newest version of Android was released, the Xiaomi, um, Xiaomi Android One devices will be one of the first devices to get those new updates. And when certain features are missing from their phones, they do fix it with um, future patches or future software updates. One thing I can see that Xiaomi is striving for when it comes on the software front is to make sure that all of their devices has L1 widevine level support. That way, users can view Netflix in HD quality and I think that is very good and it's nice that they're putting a emphasis on small things like that a lot of consumers don't pay attention to stuff like that but it is good to know that Xiaomi as a company is focused on maintaining good software now software is key is the key experience of a smartphone in my opinion because the software is what you're interacting with every day and I would say that the MIUI experience is pretty easy. It's pretty easy to learn and pretty easy to navigate. And I think this skin is what is also making Xiaomi so successful. Now also, let's talk about the different companies under Xiaomi. You have the Redmi um, brand, you have the Poco brand, the Blackmagic brand, and so on and so on and forth. Now with Xiaomi, they have their main Mi series, which is their flagship devices. And you also have like a Mi Lite version of whatever flagship it is. Currently, we have the Mi 11, we have the Mi 11 Lite, and we have the Mi 11 Ultra. Now, those are the top series um, flagship devices from Xiaomi. They also have their budget line, which is the Redmi series. And recently, in March of this year, they announced the Redmi Note 10, which is doing very well in India. And India is a very big market for Xiaomi. The Indian market is growing rapidly. And with such a high population, you can see why so many smartphone manufacturers want to be number one in India. 
However, it seems like Xiaomi is dominating the Indian market at the moment. I believe that Xiaomi has the, pot the potential to be the number one smartphone manufacturer globally. And it's for various reasons such as them innovating and them being consistent. Also the Redmi brand, the Polka line are very successful brands under Xiaomi. It seems like for every niche market they have something for it. They have the Redmi series for the budget, they have the Poco series for the mid-range and they have their Mi series for the flagship grade uh, smartphones. But apart from smartphones, Xiaomi does a lot of other things. They have successfully created a ecosystem which they call the Mi ecosystem. Don't quote me on that, <laughs> I may be wrong. But I think it's the Mi ecosystem. With this, you have the Xiaomi smartphones, Xiaomi smart TVs, smart watches, you have your smart speakers, they even sell electric scooters, and Xiaomi is also working on a electric car. So you can see how they're spreading their wings as a company and diversifying and trying new things, which I can really appreciate. There are a few ecosystems that have been successful, such as the Apple ecosystem, you have the Google ecosystem, which is good, and you have the Samsung e ecosystem. Now Xiaomi is trying to get their own ecosystem to compete with all of that and have their Mi fans stick to Xiaomi products, which I cannot disagree with because the model of Xiaomi is great, great devices at a low cost. And how they maintain this low cost is with ads in their software. But these ads can be disabled within the settings. So it should not be a problem for most consumers. But personally, I believe that what they're doing is very good and I hope to see great success from this company. Now, within this year alone, Xiaomi has released a slew of different smartphones. Over a dozen, to be honest. So I think there is more coming um, in the second half of the year. There is still the new Mi Mix smartphone that they are going to be launching sometime this year. But so far, we've got the Mi 11, the Mi 11 Lite, the Mi 11 Lite 5G, and the Mi 11 Ultra. And that's just from the Mi series. That's like five different smartphones. Now for the Redmi series, we got the Redmi Note 10, Redmi Note 10 Pro, the Redmi Note 10 5G. And we got the Poco X3 and the Poco F3. Well, the Poco X3 Pro and the Poco F3. And also we got the Black Shark, Black Shark 4 and the Black Shark 4 Pro. So you can see they are releasing a lot of devices and also they released the Redmi K series which was pretty awesome in India and those phones are selling like hotcakes basically it's hard to get them and for persons who are reselling them the prices are like through the roof so there is demand for Xiaomi products and there is clearly a market for it now based on what I'm seeing and What's happening in the Western world is that Xiaomi is making a name for themselves and they are being recognized more. So people are talking about Xiaomi just as how they are talking about Samsung and Apple, which I think is pretty good. Competition is needed in any industry. And I'm happy to see that we have a true competitor to Samsung and Apple. From my perspective, however, I do hope that Xiaomi don't get complacent with their new newfound success and still continue to innovate because I see good potential in this company and they, ha they have the potential to be the number one smartphone manufacturer. They're delivering great products at a very low price. Right now, um, based on my research, Xiaomi is ranked number three right behind Apple as a smartphone manufacturer so they're number three globally samsung is number one apple is second and xiaomi 
is number three. But you might be saying, wait, isn't Huawei number three? Huawei should be, however, due to the, the trade war between the US and um, China and Huawei not being able to work with US companies, they fall short um, and it's not really looking too good for them without the Google services. So they're losing market share um, in the smartphone game. And while they have been losing market share, Xiaomi has been gaining traction and they have been making a lot of smartphones. As I said, they're trying to um, dominate every section of the market, the budget section, the mid-tier, um, the mid-range, and the high-end flagship devices. And this strategy has been successful for, for them so far, so I don't see them um, changing it anytime soon. Xiaomi is a real force to be reckoned with, and I know that Samsung and Apple do see the threat because Xiaomi is innovating while these other um, companies, they seem to be running out of ideas. I mean, I'm very interested to see what Apple comes up with next for their iPhone 13. We're all waiting for that. But for right now, the momentum that Xiaomi is going with, I think they're a true contender for the number one spot in the smartphone market. Now I'll be keeping a eye on this uh, and see how it progress within the next few years. I project within the next two to three, well, the next three to five years mm, is more realistic. Within the next three to five years, Xiaomi could be the world's number one smartphone brand. And it's because they're giving you good devices at a low price. If you look at the prices of a Samsung device and a Apple device, it's normally over a thousand dollars for a flagship phone. While Xiaomi is coming in at around seven to eight hundred seven to eight hundred dollars, which is pretty good. A lot of persons can probably afford the seven hundred dollar um, flagship device versus a twelve hundred dollar flagship device. And because of that, I strongly believe that within the next three to five years, Xiaomi may be the world's number one smartphone manufacturer. And on that note, this is where I, um, I'm going to end the video, guys. If you stay this long and you enjoy the video, please consider subscribing to my channel. Give the video a like and leave your comments down below. Let's have a discussion about this. I'd like to know what are your guys' thoughts about Xiaomi maybe becoming the world's number one smartphone brand. Do you think they also have um, the potential to be number one? Or do you think they will be lagging behind Samsung and Apple, just like everybody else? Um, personally, I'm hoping for a change in the smartphone world, a company like Xiaomi or someone else to shake things up, you know, and maybe take over from Apple and Samsung. But again, that's it for the video, guys. Um, until then, I'll see you in the next one and stay safe. Peace.